Hey guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. Today we are going to explore how to create fluid 3D logo aesthetics inspired by the artist Winston Schwenk. In this step-by-step -step tutorial I will guide you through the process of crafting easily 3D logos applying dynamic materials with stickers and achieving stunning render effects. Whether you are new or just looking to expand your skills, this tutorial will give you all necessary tools to create stunning visuals. Woo! Let's go guys! The 3D, the 3D Objects, objects. Find the code in the video and get project files. Be quick Art Invaders, the files are only freely available for 24 hours after the video release. Alright, let's start with the tutorial. First we will create this 3D Nike logo and for this we need Adobe Illustrator. But if you don't have Adobe Illustrator, you can download the 3D model on my Patreon for free. Link is in the caption. Create first a new file. 1080 by 1080 pixels and in the next step you can drag and drop an image of a logo of your choice. Select it and go here to the top under picture tracer. Now Adobe Illustrator will create a vector graphic out of it and press again on convert. Delete the black background and also this black area here and now you have a perfect vector graphic. Now select everything, go under effects and choose 3D and choose inflate. Here under death we choose zero. We want that the 3D graphic get volume on both sides and that's it. Go now under 3D object export, press here on the X key and select the format we use for Blender OBJ. And if you hit export you get the file. You can drag and drop the logo inside Cinema 4D. Now we can delete the exported materials because we don't need them. Also here in the material manager and to correctly project the textures later on in the material part on the logo we have first added it. Go to the polygon mode here on the top and as you can see the N and I have different meshes than the rest and to fix it we have to select the N and I. You can also use here the rectangle selection so it go faster and hold shift to select more of the mesh. When you're ready, press with the right mouse button on it and select split. And now we have two elements. Go back to the model mode here on the top and now we add the plane as background. Rotate it here under coordinates by 90 degrees. Here also put the plane behind the logo. Perfect. Finally, we add the camera and we go to the render settings and choose a format of 1080 by 1080 pixels. In the next step, we press here the camera icon to fix our view and we search a good perspective. That looks good. We are finished with the 3D object part, Art Invaders. Get the 3D New Balance and Adidas logo for free. Comment on my Instagram reel or TikTok with I want more logos and I will send you the files via DM. Link is in the caption. The materials. Now you can download all HDI maps and textures for the material part. Go, go, go. Download it. And let's move on with the tutorial. All right, now we came to the cool part, the material part. And first we open our Redshift render view. Can also drag it here to the side, so we get a better overview. First we will create the light and we work with the dome light. Go now on the object, press add graph. Press now the folder icon and insert the HDRI map. You can find the HDRI map on my Patreon for free. Link is in the caption. So, to make the light brighter, we change the value to 2 under, under intensity multiplier. And that's it for the lightning. Now we can start to create our first material. Open the material manager here. Double click in the window to create a new material. And we start with the background material. Drag and drop it on the plane and open the material. Here we select under metalness 0.5 and for roughness also 0.5. And as you can see, we get cool lightning reflections in the background 
In the next step, we create the liquid material. For it, we need a preset material from Redshift, and you can find it here. Open it, and here under the preset window, we can change now the preset material. And this material for the project is not really liquid, so we work with the silver preset and drag and drop the material, of course, on the logo to see what happened. And we work with the silver preset because this is the only way I could achieve an expressive result. The glass presets I don't like, so that's the reason why. And now we go here under the Fresnel type and we change to IOR. And under the value we choose 4. For roughness we choose 0. To make the material now transparent we have to go under Refraction Transmission and select 1 for weight. That looks cool. So in the next step we search for Fresnel. Double click here in the material window and search under the search window Fresnel. Connect it with color. In the next step, we will create the water texture. Here we have to search for texture and also for bump, bump map, and connect it as follows. Here you have to open the overall window and here you find bump map. Perfect. So under texture, we can now insert our bump map. You also find it on my Patreon for free. Go here under the folder and insert the bump map image. To change the projection, we go to texture and under scale we choose 4 for both values. And you can control the whole effect under bump map and height scale. Here we choose a value of 0.05. That looks good. And as you can see, the projection on the N and I is different than on the rest of the logo, as already explained in the beginning. And to fix it, we copy and paste the material now and select only the N and I. Now we drag and drop the new material on it and now we can also edit it differently. We go here under texture and again to the scale value and here we choose to, to get the same result than on the rest of the logo. If you enjoyed the video, please consider supporting me with a like, comment or even a subscription. Thank you Art Invaders. Now we project the stickers onto the logo. You can find the stickers also on my Patreon for free. Or you can also create custom stickers. I used for it uh, Photoshop. Open Photoshop, create a new project and we use 1080 by 1080 pixels and now you can start create your own stickers. Important for the project is that we need a transparent background. When you are happy with the result you can export it as PNG like this. Here is the format important PNG and put a check mark under transparent. And later on you can use now the stickers for your 3D project. We start uh, to create first the sticker material. Double click in the window, create a new material and open it. In the next step you can drag and drop the image here inside. And to create the alpha image with transparent background we have to search for color splitter and connect the image here with the output and the image with color and output R with opacity. That's it. And as you can see in the preview, now we have a transparent background on the image. Now we go to the standard material and we choose for metalness 0.5 and roughness also 0.5. You can play around with the values however you like. And to make the workflow easier, we take our material from the main logo, copy the texture and the bump map, go back to the sticker material, paste it here inside and connect it with bump. So we get later on also the fluid texture on the sticker. Search for displacement to make the effect later on stronger. Connect texture with displacement and output with displacement. Go under displacement and here you can also change the strength of the effect. We choose 0 0.04 under scale. To get the stickers on the surface we take the projection deformer and we also need a null object because we work later on with more than one stickers and for the sticker we need a plane. 
we choose minus x for the orientation and 4 cm in width and height. And for segments, we choose 100 in width and height. Now we can put the plane under the null object to, pro to work with the projection deformer. And under projection, we have to insert our main logo under target object. In the next step, you can also drag and drop the material on the plane. And we have also go under projection, object, and here we change orientation also to minus x. And for offset, we choose 0 0.01, that the sticker is not directly on the objects, so that we don't get issues later on. So now you can bring the plane to the position that you like. And if you want to edit the stickers, I would advise you use the plane, go under coordinates and here you can change the position. You can also rotate it and you can change the side. And yeah, that's it. And as you can see, the effect is here too strong for the sticker and that's because the sticker is too near on the surface. We can go again to the projection deformer, go under object and here we can also choose a value of 0 0.1 and now it looks better. Also. To create more stickers, copy and paste the plane. You have to put it all the time under the projection deformer in the null object and then you can switch the position and change under coordinates the scale and rotation to get an advanced look. I think it's clear from the example how this principle works. So have fun guys, be creative and put so many stickers on the surface however you want. And that's it for the material part. Do you want the whole project file? You can have it. <gasps> With over 70 other files that we have already created together, guys. You can find them on my Patreon. Link is in the caption. The animation. Now we came to the animation part. And the whole animation would take about 10 hours to render. And the result is quite unsatisfactory because of the noise. Here's an example. So... That's why we are taking a completely different way this time to animate the logo. And first we change our render region and we select for width uh, 1920 and we need the whole logo in the render region. So now you can render it and save it as PNG image later on. And in the next step, we go again back to the render settings and we choose 1080 by 1080 pixels. And we need an image again of the whole logo like this. And when you are ready, we have now a full size image like this and a 1080 by 1080 pixels image like here. Now we work with CapCut to animate the images to get the best resolution ever that we can get in this project. To finish the project, we need the free program CapCut. It is a user-friendly video editing app that offers many free features for animations. I would recommend you to download the program because the online version is not so good and really slow. Link is in the caption. So, drag and drop the images here inside. And first, we select the big image and rescale it here in this window and bring it to the front position. In the next step, we will animate it. Go here on the transform and select at keyframe. Go now to the end of the image and change the position here to the side. Uh, other keyframe is automatically set and now we have this animation here. In the next step, we take the second image and we have to look how the end looks here. So rescale it, bring it here to the side. That fits really good. Press here again on the keyframe, move the animation slider a little bit and select a new keyframe and rescale it again to the original size and bring it also in the center of the window. And now, if you hit play, we have the animation we need with the highest resolution that we can get for our detailed texture in this project. All right, perfect. So when we are already here in CapCut, we can also make you some color adjustments. Go under the adjustments tag and here 
we increase exposure by 5, the contrast also by 5, the brilliance by 5, and clarity by 15. Alright, now we repeat it also for the second object that we get the same color values. Perfect. So, now we can also work with filter presets. Go here in the filter and we need clarity too. Increase the whole length to the whole animation duration. And here under intensity, you can change it. We choose 50. So, and that it don't look like images. We also work with effects. Go here under the effects tag and we insert some sparkles. Go here under star and we use shrinking sparkles. Make it so long how long the animation is. And I don't like the colors. You can decrease the filter effect to get our original colors. And if you hit play now, we get the cool sparkles on the top. Perfect. That looks good. And the next step, we create a loop animation. Go now here under menu, export and render the video and export it. Now you can drag and drop it here back into our project, delete the other things. And as you can see, here's something wrong. Go to the frame where everything looks normal. Here looks good and press this icon to cut it out. Now copy and paste it and press with the right mouse button on it and select reverse. Put it now to the end and now we have a perfect loop animation. And that's it for the tutorial guys. Three reasons why you should follow me on my social media channels. One. There you can get exclusive shoutouts if you tag me at Art Invader. Two. There you can vote for upcoming projects. Three. Exclusive quick tips to get a pro in 3D. Thank you for your support, guys. And that's it. Well done, Art Invaders. If you like the video, please leave a like, follow or comment. And we see us in the next week.